Hello, a very good morning to you all. Welcome to Achanda. Of course, that's home of crafts, hobbies and arts. And we've got the Happy Puzzle get, um, Company here this morning. I am so excited about this. I'm beaming from ear to ear because I get to play. Oh, I'm so happy. Gavin, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Catherine. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Hot Chanda world. How are you all today? Hope you're having a really lovely day. We're going to have some serious fun now. We are. I am delighted to be presenting this show, Gavin, because we were actually sched scheduled together before. Twice and then before. Th yeah. Yes, and then things got moved around, so this is actually my first time with you presenting one of your shows. So and you will never forget the next hour. <laughs> well, let's get into it, because of course, award-winning games. That's what we've got here, we've got some brand new items for you as well. Uh, well, you may have seen the first one before, but if you haven't, we will be playing this, the Genius Square. Now, do have a look on the uh, website as well at the reviews. We've got lots of five-star reviews on this one. There are members of our gang here at Achando who've bought this for themselves as well, including Adam was in later. 16.99 is the price for this one. 549.652. Now Gavin, for anyone that hasn't seen it before, please do tell us about the Genius Square. The Genius Square is without any doubt the greatest game ever invented. And what it does is almost unbelievable. So you're going to have to take my word on it. Exactly as you said, if you go onto the Hachanda website, every single review that's yeah. there is a five-star review. Now, the game works like this. And what we've got, by the way, here is we've got two uh, giant versions so that Catherine and I can actually demonstrate it uh, and play it for you at the same time. But it's the smaller version here that you would actually get. And everything that you see here is included. So you've got everything for two people to be able to play at the same time. Now, here is the beauty of this game. You have got seven dice. And when you roll the dice, coordinates will come up on there. And then you use your blockers to block off those coordinates. And then all you have to do is race against your opponent in order to fit all of these shapes into the grid. And the first person who finishes is the winner. Now, amazingly, as you see here, there are 62,208 different ways in which the dice can fall. And there is always at least one solution. And invariably, there's more than one solution which means that there's no point in cheating and seeing what somebody oh, else and is course, actually doing. You can play solo as well, so if you haven't got somebody to play with, though you want to take it to work or do it in your lunch hour or something like that, or maybe in a vehicle as well, you can do that. Now, we have got uh, a video to show you in a second, but before that, I'm just going to let you know that there's a week's delay on Dispatch for all of the games we've got on the show today because <laughs> they're, they're coming from overseas, basically. So do make sure that you're stocking up for your Christmas presents as well. And for anybody with families, this is a show that is a must for you. Let's see how this game works so we have got a video for you On. I'm watching the reactions, reactions on those faces of the people in the video actually and I've seen people playing this here at Agenda and those reactions are genuine. It does get very competitive. I've yet to play so this is why I'm so excited about this morning. But we've got something else for you as well. This is brand new. In fact, Gavin, this is so new. You tell us how new it is. Uh, the Genius Star, which you see the second one over, is that what you're looking at yeah. now, the Genius Star? The Genius Star has been out now for a few weeks in America. Uh, where it's only been out since August, it's already won the Toy of the Year Amazing. 2020 in America. Amazing. Well, it does say the Genius Star, so I'm presuming, Gavin, then, that uh, it is, it's a similar game to the square, but obviously we've got a star. I can see a difference there with the blocks. I can see a difference with the shape. Is it a little bit more difficult as well? It's significantly more difficult, Ooh. and there's a lovely little twist in there as well. So, first of all, with the dice here, if you can actually just see the dice on the edge of the screen, and just behind the pricing there at the moment, uh, they're slightly different shapes. So, some of them are normal uh, cube dice, like you've got in the Genius Square, but some of them as well. Uh, are also um, six-sided dice. No, they're octagonal dice. 
uh, as well. There you are, I've got to get my shape straight. Um, and uh, that gives you a lot more possibilities. So there's 165,888 different possibilities here. Now, I don't know whether you can see if you uh, home in a little bit on the actual board itself, but the numbers are etched in there. So it's done a little bit differently to the Genius, where there's not coordinates, there's numbers there. So whenever you roll the numbers, you use your little white triangles with a black star on okay. and you block out those sections. And then it's the same process as with uh, the Genius Square. You've actually got to complete the star. The difference here, first of all, is that there are 11 pieces that you have to fill in. And there's also a lovely little twist. Now, uh, again, if you look there, you'll see there is uh, there are two blue pieces, each of which, which have got half of a golden star on top of them, now they are like that. Yeah, now, in them. roughly 57% of the puzzles, it's possible to complete the star with the golden star intact. Oh. The problem is, you've got to work out whether or not it's possible. Oh. So the difference here when you're playing with other people is to decide whether you want to play it safe and just fill the grid, oh, like or whether you want to take a risk and go for a double win. Now, I'll tell you what, oh. with that golden star, it is significantly more difficult. What you do get with the game is you get to go on to the special website, which will actually tell you whether or not your puzzle was possible with the, G or with the golden star intact. And if you want to do it the other way around, it will also, on the website, generate some coordinates for you that you can plug in oh, where amazing. they guarantee that the uh, golden star can be built within it. So this takes everything up a complete stage. This so is more challenging. For anyone who's got the square then, Gavin, they can quite safely go for the star because you are going up that level. It's a different game. It's a different the game. The concept it's is very completely similar. completely different. Look, obviously the concept is, is, is similar. Love um, it. And this has been a revelation, an absolute revelation. See, whereas the Genius Square now has been out for a couple of, of years and it's got a whole host of awards. By the way, uh, I mentioned this, this has got the, the second highest rating ever given to a game really? by the Good Toy Guide. Uh, the Genius Star, in the space of a few weeks, has won Toy of the Year in the United oh, States, so and it's up for a whole bunch of other awards as well. could get to the leader, top of the leaderboard, that yeah. one, then. We'll see in the future, won't we? 1899 836 370 is the item number. Let's have a look at another video, because we're going to show you how this one works as well. You can see why the one awards, can't you? Now, just going back to the square for a second, I've noticed that the age is six plus, the star is eight plus, but we have got another version. It looks different, but this is for the little ones. This is for the younger generation, of course. This is the B genius. Now, you can see there again, you've got a different shape board. Gavin, you've got nice bright colours here as well. You've got the little bees. Oh, look at these, the little playing pieces here. Never mind the children, I like this one. <laughs> So we've simplified everything. The first thing to note about this version is that it's not a competitive version and it's a one-player game. Oh, lovely. What we're trying to achieve here is we're trying to build up children's self-confidence and there are very few games on the market which will actually help children to develop their logical deduction skills, particularly in the case of much younger children. So this is suitable for ages three to eight. And as you see, the pieces are much chunkier and the dice are much more simplified. So if you look uh, at the uh, honeycomb, you'll see that each of the colours and each of the numbers appears once. So on the dice, You've got the numbers from one to six, and they're color-coded. And then you put the queen bee in the center of the hive, 
and the rest of the worker bees then fill the spots which come up on the dice and then again all you have to do is fill in the rest of the pieces in order to complete the beehive. Oh, it's amazing. really cute it and, is, isn't it's, it? and the pieces are really chunky as well so that means that little fingers will have no difficulty in gripping them and this is all about confidence building. Amazing. You've got to start somewhere and this is the perfect place to start. I also want to let you know that that one which has been, uh, been out for even less time than the Genius Star at the Independent Toy Awards in the UK a couple of weeks ago uh, this won the gold award. Did it? Yes. Oh, another award winner. We love that here at Echander, don't we? Look at this. Little genius. That's what we've got here. The price is 1699 I love the fact that you're not, uh, you know, you're not letting the children be competitive against each other. It is about education as well. I can see ways of, if you're not actually playing the game as well, Gavin, that getting them to just match colours or play with the numbers and use it in that way as well it's, you know, all, use about, it as it's all about achievement it's all about making sure that you're developing those skills whilst ensuring that the child feels they're actually achieving something as they go through Amazing. it's a beautiful game it's very simple very straightforward very sturdy lovely wooden pieces beautifully painted and that's going to last for years and years and years across different families it's a beautiful set Oh, well, I can't wait to see the video for this one. We're going to roll that now for you, so I wonder who's playing this one. My children were still young enough, that's one I would definitely be buying, but they wouldn't get it, I'd just play with it. Right, let's have a look at the next items. These are new as well for you. Now we've got some geographies for you. Of course, that's a play on the word jigsaws, but also you've got uh, geography in there as well, that's I presume, right. it's, then, It's Gavin. an abbreviation for jigsaw geography. Perfect. Now, we have got, you can see here, we've got different versions for you as well. So we've got UK and Ireland, we've got the world, and then we've got the flags of the world as well. So once again, Gavin, there's definitely education behind this one, or the thought of education. Absolutely, and they're very different to anything you've seen before. So let's talk about how Geography UK is put together. And if we look up closely at the one which uh, I prepared earlier, uh, what you might be able to see is that lots of the pieces have actually been shaped around counties. So the divisions that we've got in here are based around counties uh, in England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, uh, and so on. And you've got 100 pieces in there they're nice, chunky, thick, big pieces, and it's all about teaching somebody where everything is in the United Kingdom, understanding how the country is split up, and you've got lots of lovely blue sea around it as well, uh, and also uh, certain areas which are very small, which have been enlarged for you to be able to see as well. This is not a normal jigsaw. This has got very unusual shapes inside it, I can and the whole that. reason why it's been put together is to teach about size and relative shape and so on and so forth. That's a really, really great one. That's Geography UK. Now, if we move along to Geography World, you'll see there that this time we've got pieces shaped around countries of the world. And this is a 112-piece puzzle. Uh, same principle. Here you're putting the countries together rather than the counties. And this is bang up to date. Uh, because I don't know whether you know this, Catherine, but uh, oh, last don't year, test me, Gavin. last year there was a country <laughs> that actually changed its name. You know what that was? I did hear of it, but I can't, off the top of my head, remember which one it so was. So Macedonia, yes. which was known as the former yes. Yugoslav Republic yes. of Macedonia, uh, became North Macedonia. Yeah. There you are. So that is your geography world, but the pièce de résistance of all of this, if you move across, oh. is the enormous, absolutely humongous geography flags. Now, this is not just about flags. 
you get lots of other information as well inside their populations and capital cities and all things that people like to do in this type of quiz. It's been cut very, very cleverly so that you'll see you've got the flag of one part on one side of the piece and then on the other side of the piece you've got the information for another part, which means you've really got to think about where things go. Everything has been organised into continents and into alphabetical order as well and it's an absolutely fascinating jigsaw puzzle to do uh, and you'll find that both the young and old will love doing this and looking at all of the information that's on there. Oh, amazing stuff, isn't it? I'm thinking as well, you know, when we were at school, or the children at school, and uh, they're, they're doing certain things, geography, history, all sorts of different things. These are going to come in very, very useful just for that reason as well. Never mind putting it together as a jigsaw. They can go back to that and sort of look at the maps, look at the flags, and, uh, you know, they are going to use it in that purpose as well. And you'll find that lots of Achanda viewers are likely to have jigsaw glue as well at home. Yeah. So these are very easy to glue and to mount and to put onto the wall and to come back to again yeah. and again uh, in order to find out something new each time. Amazing. We have things on display at home and the kids are constantly referring to them. And actually, uh, for, for kids who are really into things like football, uh, whenever they're watching international matches and they come across countries that they've never heard of, you can go and look at the map. That you can is see a really where they good are. point. Do you know, I love these. 1499-537-906 is the item number. You can go for more than one option, of course, if you want to. We have got those three there. The UK and Ireland, the world, and, of course, the flags as well. Super chunky, thick pieces. They are, aren't they? I can see that. Love it. Absolutely love it. But we have more for you because we've got 30 cubes. I've not seen this one before, Gavin. Uh, so, oh, I hear one of our uh, gallery members has got this game as well. 1999 Four six is the item number. Tell me about this one then, Gavin. I can see it's like a circuit. Well, this is my proudest moment, uh, and there's a lovely story that goes with this. Now, the world's most famous puzzle inventor is not actually uh, Professor Rubik, who everybody thinks it is. It's actually a gentleman called Ivan Moscovich, and Ivan has designed many of the world's most famous puzzles. His first puzzle came out in 1950. It was called The Magic Robot, which lots of people probably still have where you had a little robot that magnetically spun around to the right answer of a question. Ivan is now 94 years old. He's a remarkable person. And about three years ago, he came to me and said to me, don't you think it's about time that we devised the puzzle together? This is rather like... Paul McCartney oh. coming to you and asking to make a record with you. It was really that special. I can see the smugness on your face now, Gavin. <laughs> and together we created 30 Cube. Now, because of social distancing, I can't actually come over there to demonstrate to you, but you will see the video in a moment. Basically, you've got 30 cubes. And on each of the six sides of each of the cubes, you've got the same colours in different orders. And they've got a series of lines uh, on top of there as well. And the different puzzles which you have to do will involve you building patterns and shapes and it looks incredibly easy. I can assure you that some of the harder puzzles are really, really seriously Rubik's Cube-esque in their difficulty. In fact, there's one puzzle in there that actually took me three solid days to create. Uh, as well. So it does start off nice and easy and the really good thing about it is that you've got a whole set of junior puzzles in there which use 20 of the cubes rather than 30 of the cubes and that means that younger people from the age of six will be able to get started on this but this is very much intended as being a generational family puzzle which you pass on to the next generation. The pieces are beautifully made out of wood. They will last you forever. It's a beautiful thing to go on the coffee table. If you know somebody that really loves their puzzles and really wants to be challenged, then this is the one to get for them. If you've got a younger person who loves being stretched, who loves math puzzles, and for whom spending three hours doing nothing but Rubik's Cube is never enough, then 30 cubed is the puzzle for you. Oh, do you know, I never did crack the Rubik's Cube, but my brother did. He was very clever. 1999 Let's have a look at the video.
getting even more excited now because I know it's getting we're almost time to play. Oh, I've got one more to do. Right, let's have a look at this one. You've got the amazing clock kit here. Now, we've got one built up for you, as you can see. Now, there is a pendulum. We've got a little bit of sticky stuff at the back because if I... I'm, I'm going to try it, actually. I don't know if... Oh, there we are. Can you hear it ticking? So will it keep ticking all the time? Yes, then? How and it does will this drive work? you completely insane in the studio if you're trying to talk <laughs> over the ticking, which is why I put the little bit of tap behind it there at the beginning. So let's talk about the amazing clock kit. This is a kit which will teach your children to understand how an analog clock works. So you've got everything you need inside to build from scratch your own working analog clock. Now, because of safety reasons, uh, this will only run for six hours at a time uh, because the spring when you tighten it can only be a certain tightness for safety reasons. But it does work and it will hold its time and it's got a lovely little bell which I've also disabled uh, which as you go around I think it's on every quarter of an hour uh, it will actually ring for you as well. Now the beauty of this, the real beauty of this is the fact that it's see-through which basically gives children an opportunity to understand how a clock actually works, what it is that makes the cogs turn, how they make the pendulum swing, etc., etc. And you can see the red and white cog inside there. That's where the spring is held inside there. And they'll understand exactly what's going on. So this is a real working clock, suitable from ages five and upwards, something definitely as a kit, to do with the children or the grandchildren and something which can sit proudly on their desk in their bedroom or on the sideboard or whatever it is you want but yes that ticking clock will drive you mad in the studio <laughs> that i can assure you i wanted to leave it on actually because i want to hear the bell ring that's what i want to hear 14.99 is the price of this one aren't these amazing 258430 is the item number we've got a video for this one coming up as well do make sure you're checking those baskets out do think about christmas presents do think about the time you're spending at home with family think about doing all these things as a family that's very very important Let's go and have a look at that video. I love that. Love it. Oh, how cute is that little way on there? Oh, wonderful. Well, we just want to remind you about the Genius Square as well, because, of course, that was the first one that we went to. This one's been out before, but so many people have purchased this already. Do have a look on the website. Do look at the reviews on there as well. We've got a lot of reviews, five-star reviews as well. I'm genuinely telling you that there are people here that have purchased games from Gavin and, of course, the Happy Puzzle Company, including Adam. Adam was here later on today. He absolutely loves the Genius Square and I know he's going to be buying the Genius Star as well. Right, let's just give the details once again for the Genius Square before we do get to play this. Can't wait. 549652 is the item number. 1699 is the price. Do think about everything we've got on the show to cover all those different ages. We are talking children. We're talking right through up to adults as well depending on which one you're going for so do consider all options this morning right Gavin we're gonna play in a second I'll tell you what I didn't mention at the beginning uh, since I was last on uh, this is not only one game of the year 2020 in Australia but it's also one product of the year uh, in Australia for 2020 and that's basically they get all of the winners in the different categories of the mm, of the year and have one overall winner, and this is the one. Oh, you must be so proud. I'm really chuffed. In fact, uh, to be honest with you now, this has been out for, it'll be two years next week, uh, and we've already sold a quarter of a million copies. Wow. Uh, so it's been a bit of a revelation. Wow. Uh, and there's hundreds of videos on YouTube of people just challenging themselves. And something else I was going to mention to you, huge numbers of uh, people have contacted us to tell us 
that during lockdown they've had a set for themselves and a set for their grandchildren and they've been able to play on Zoom with them because if you can't actually see the grandchildren, you can still play with them. There are no barriers here because everybody's got the same pieces. doesn't matter how many sets you've got. You can all be on Zoom and you can all play together, which I think is what we're going to do now. Do you know, do do that as well. Do you know, we just are going to have a look at the website and look at some of these reviews as well. A look at these, five star, five star, five star. I don't five usually star. write a review, but this game deserves one. I just love it. And the fact you can get just as much enjoyment playing by yourself as against someone, should you have warning, because when you start playing, guarantee it's impossible to stop. Now, I do know that is true. I do know that a set was left behind in our uh, production office, and they played for hours and hours in between the shows, and in fact, I don't think anybody went home that night. Right, you know, gifts for grandchildren, you can see it there. You know, it's not just for yourself, it's not just for the adults, this is for children as well. When we're talking about the Genius Square, it's six plus. Somebody's bought four there, that tells me they were buying for guests as well. All five star reviews, absolutely amazing. If you buy one game in the whole of your life, this is the game to buy. Because you've got over 65,000 possible ways of playing, the chance of you ever getting the same game twice are very, very small, unless you really do play for years and years and years. In fact, I'll tell you something really interesting. Uh, actually, better to tell you, in, in the case of the Genius Star, we got a computer to play every single possible version of the wow. Genius Star, and it was able to play one version uh, every three seconds, and it took six days six days for oh it to play goodness. all of the versions. We did the same with the Genius Square. It's uh, obviously got uh, two days there because it's got less uh, in terms of the number of possible combinations. So yes, you're getting it. value for money. You certainly are. Well, we, of course, I'm just going to just remind everybody, the boards that we're going to be playing with are giant versions, just so that you can see this with our cameras. You do get two boards in your box, of course, so you can play alone or you can play as pairs. You can be competitive, if you like, on this one. So, Gavin, I have genuinely never played this game before, uh, so I'm not expecting to be able to beat you, but we'll give it a go. We'll see. We'll see. OK. So, we should go on to the overhead camera in a second. Now, here I have the seven dice. I'm going to roll them, and of course, those are the different combinations that will come up. Hang on a second. They're larger dice than a normal dice. Let's roll those. So what I want you to do, Catherine, okay. is to take your blocker pieces and block out these coordinates. So please block out A5 yep. and A6, yep. B3, yep. C4, C5, okay. D1, D1, and E6. <gasps> And what we're going to do now is we are going to race. I don't know whether the camel will be able to pick up both of us doing this from a socially distanced point of view, but we're going to race each other and see who finishes first. Are you ready? I'm ready. Five, I'm ready, I four, think. three, two, one, go. Now, you should know that, although I should be quite good at this because the number of times I've played, it's a different story when you're doing it on oh, telly no, no, and trying to speak at the no, same time work, oh. but you'll see and each game really does not take a huge amount of time in order to do hence i have oh. finished look at that oh wow that was quick gavin i didn't do too bad though no you did great i didn't do too bad but yeah i didn't expect to win to be fair but do you know i can see how competitive you can get with this can we do it again? Yes, 100%. Yes. Yes. And that is the beauty of this, is that you'll play once, you'll immediately want to play again, and again, and again, and again. And you'll yes, be playing I keep playing until I beat you, Gavin. That's what I want to do. Well, look, it could happen. <laughs> Let's see how we go. OK, here come our coordinates this time. We have A6, A6. again. And we have C2. C2. And C3. And C5. Oh, lots of C's. And D2. Two, yeah. And E4. And F2. F2. Completely yeah, okay. different combination. Um, okay. Are you so, are you ready? I'm ready. Um, Go. I think. Oh. Uh, placing orders. Now. So difficult to concentrate on this while you've got the cameras rolling at the same time. No, well, I've got a reputation at stake here. Apparently it's fixed oh, no, 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 I think no, I've made a fairly... Isn't, but how are you oh, doing? No, I've made a fairly oh, fundamental error some? here. Oh, oh, see, come on, yeah, keep know, going. You need to beat me. I'm messing this one up completely. Good Lord, what am I doing here? Put this one in here. You don't. All right, fine. And that, folks... I didn't realise I was 
was that competitive? Okay. That, okay. folks, was genuine. I got myself into all sorts of trouble. I was nowhere near. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you know, I got that really quickly, Pat, from one shape, and I thought, I can't see a way of moving it. But then, do you know, it was really good. The adrenaline really was going. But then I just moved one piece, and then I could see a new way of putting that back together very quickly. So It's one of those games you can easily play best of five, best of seven, best of 219, whatever you want to play. Oh. If you buy one game the whole of your life, this is the game to play. Gavin, and if you want to get it's got one to be best four, of three, hasn't it? Well, of course it's going to be best it's of three. It's got to be best of three. But you know what? On Christmas Day, when when you finish the turkey, this is what you want to be I doing. The turkey, I'm just playing this. A few cherries and playing this. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, oh, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Right. Are we ready again then? Uh, yes. This is the key one now. This is where we see who the Hochanda Tuesday morning champion is. <laughs> OK, here come our coordinates this time. Okay. We have got, we'll do it from the bottom this time, F1. F1. F2. Oh. E4. E4. Uh, D6. D4. C1. And C2. That's interesting, because the whole of the top two layers oh, are blank. that is interesting. Look at that. Does it make it harder, or can you not tell me that? Would you not know? What? Whether it's harder well, or not? If you've got big like blocks that. that are available. No, no? It, just, it just depends. It's so This is all mathematically creative. The whole way that this works uh, has been done by wizards and professors <laughs> and all sorts of things like that. There you go. Okay. Right, are you ready? I am ready. On your marks, get set, go. Now, I really do have my pride at stake here. And just to be absolutely clear, I'm not letting Catherine win. Just to be certain. Oh. And Adam, by the way, as you said, is completely obsessed with these. Uh, what's going to happen now? Well, I'm, I don't know how I'm doing here, but how is... Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. I did it. Oh, and my pride is intact. Oh, never mind. At least I got one, and I've never played before, so I'm happy with that. That's made my day. And this has been branded as the cleverest game ever invented. Awards galore all over the place. Suitable for ages six plus, six to adult, and very much for adults as well. Uh, and um, for one or two players, you can play by yourself against the clock, test yourself. Or, of course, you can buy multiple sets and play with the grandchildren or children on Zoom, particularly the grandchildren because it's so hard to see them at the moment. This is the must-have game of a generation. Amazing. Well, I know someone else that's going shopping right after this hour as well. Yes, I'm, I've got my little checklist in my head. Right, now, if you're a Freedom member... Are you? Are you? Because the price has gone down by a pound, hasn't it? Let's show you, of course, how you become a Freedom Member and give you the details. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom Member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selecting...